What's going on, family? What's going on? What's going down? What's shaking? Welcome to another episode of Super Black Comic Book Reviews by Jonathan Soul. Now, I bought this book, Nowhere Man, and uh, in 2014. A Nowhere Man 2014. Now, I read it. <clears throat> I didn't review it. Because, be honest with you, because it was about a cop. <laughs> you know, I'm just going to be honest with you. And there's no respect, uh, uh, my brother here who created this book, um, who wrote and illustrated. And I got mad respect uh, for brothers who uh, who write and illustrate. Um, and I want to get uh, the four comics brother uh, name correct here. Jerome uh, Walford. Jerome Walford. Now... <clears throat> So I, 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 I sat on this book for years <clears throat> until uh, Distro, uh, this uh, B-I-C Distro came out. So Black Independent Comics Distro came out. And so it has like 14 publishers over there. One of them is Forward Comics. Okay. Forward Comics. So I said, let me go buy because because this is like, this is the first issue. The other ones are sold out far as i know on uh on ford's comic book site but you can get volume one two and three i believe in in, in here so as you can see uh you follow me so you know it's won a lot of awards so forth like that but you know what's important to me is you know the imagery and the story okay so anyway so uh jerome uh, walford put this together it's about a cop with superpowers and the superpowers are a mystery to him. And, uh, and, uh, there's a, some murders that are taking place. And, and this, uh, he's a, when I say a cop, he's actually a detective, New York city detective. Um, there's a love interest. There's some intrigue with that. There's some mystery about his powers. Uh, some other people may or might not have some powers, uh, things of that nature. So it's it's definitely uh, an adult book. Uh, it's definitely an adult book. It's a it's an adult book, um, not in the sense of gory violence, because um, uh, Walford tastefully kind of hides like the money shot when it comes to people getting you know uh, shot or, or, or choked out or throats cut or something like that. It's mature themes in the sense that. You know, the relationships that he has, say, with the with the police chief's uh, niece, for example, or um, the fact that uh, uh, he kind of um, he kind of gets overtaken sometimes and his powers kind of manifest and uh, he doesn't exactly know how to use his powers right now. The extent uh, when I say right now, I've gotten to. Yeah, I've gotten to this far in the book. Okay, so about about half. And I kind of do that on purpose. Um, so he has intangibility when he, you know, or he can't. He has, uh, I guess, invulnerability. And he says in, impenetrability, I think, in the, in the book. Yeah, okay, maybe we got to see. You know what I mean? Um, but he kind of hey, kind of reminds me of the vision in that sense, you know, that he has that. Um, but what's, what's fascinating about him is if he falls asleep into a deep sleep or, um, if he uses his powers or these powers too much, a transformation takes place and this other persona comes out and this other persona has its own agenda. This other persona comes out and has its own agenda. And so there's a point in the book where, um, Oh, by the way, the guy's name is Jack McGuire. I, I, that's the main character's name is Jack McGuire. So uh, Jack uh, falls asleep at some point. And, uh, you know, sometimes if you get down with your lady or whatever, it can be a little bit exhausting. And so uh, he changes into this other persona. This guy seems to have some kind of uh, high tech suit. And he has a couple of discs that he uses to kind of hop around the city and so forth and also protect them uh kind of a thing and uh this this uh this uh persona's name is uh zade and uh, he has his own agenda in terms of you know crime fighting and all that kind of stuff and it seems to run parallel 
It seems to run parallel to Jack from what I can gather, but Jack is unaware of this guy's activities. It almost reminds me of the TV show Incredible Hulk and David Banner wasn't really clear as to what the Hulk was doing. You know what I mean? Um, so it, it seems to be that kind of vibration. Um, this guy, uh, this Persona Z seems to have enhanced, um, you know, agility and uh, speed and fighting uh, skills. And these discs, uh, they're used for transportation and defense, apparently. And they seem to be sentient a little bit, or at least they have an AI. Um, this crime boss gets taken out by Zaid, but it's tastefully done. You see how it kind of, it kind of gets, you know, it's not off panel, but it's tastefully done kind of a thing. So that's why I say it's, it's kind of mature themes. And, um, there's a couple of other uh, volumes that I have to get to complete my collection, but it's definitely a book I would recommend to adults to check out. If you like the kind of, you know, like mysteries and, um, you like action and you like a little you know, interpersonal drama, like with the relationship piece and things like that. Um, it's definitely something that I would uh, uh, recommend. All right. So uh, you can either get it at Forward Comics or you can go to distro, uh, uh, BICdistro.com and you can get a ton of comics. I bought like four. No, I bought nine, nine books there. This is one of them. I bought nine other books there, each from a diff different uh, publisher. And I can't wait to review them for y'all. All right. Love you guys. JohnVasol.com. And, uh, and you can come over to JohnVasol.com. You can see my reviews of comics and my interviews with the creators. And I'll start that back up again. Uh, my interviews with creators of these wonderful uh, pieces of art we call comics. All right. Love you guys. Hope all our dreams come true. Peace.